Hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Now this is a game called Ira. And I saw this on uh, Alpha Beta website, I think it was. Um, yeah, alpha, alphabetagamer.com. And I thought this looked pretty cool. It's actually a demo, and it's going to be uh, it's it's available on Kickstarter. I'll I'll send the link to the Kickstarter page. And this has got 316 backers. They want to get $12,000 to develop, and they've got currently they've got $5,000. So just from the screenshots alone, this looks amazing. So I thought I'm going to do a video for my channel. So this is my first attempt at the game. So uh, bear with me as I get used to the game. And here we go. How can it not be good with that menu? Okay, pre-alpha gameplay. So we might expect uh, untextured uh, graphics, crashes, hangs, uncompletable parts. But as I play a lot of early access stuff, I'm used to it all. So, the smell of rocket fuel hangs in the air, even this far outside of town. The year is 1932 and summer fades over the lands surrounding pilgrimage as launch day fast approaches. Anticipation fills the air and the world's gaze is drawn to the tiny town as the final trains make their way into station. Good evening. You're listening to Pilgrimage News Radio. Where the words are as true as they are fresh, I'm Cody Copper and I'll be your host tonight. The town is a buzz for the launch of the Holocene only weeks away. He looks like he's enjoying the anticipation there. First interstellar vessel will depart from the pilgrimage launch center. <laughs> Drinking lots of bottles of Heineken by the look of it. Explore the mysteries of the lithic system. Don't forget to pick up your viewing tickets for the launch. There might be a few left if you have the pocketbook. <clears throat> In other news, the Martian mining season is once again upon us, and many listeners have noticed the influx of seasonal workers in town. Keep in mind that the world is watching, so please, let's... Wow, those uh, frogs are super annoying. <laughs> Okay, I guess there's a train coming. And there's the train going. Oh, that looks nice. Banjo player. Well, looks like it'll just be me and you riding the rest of this line path. Okay, so we've got to choose a response. Okay, what's the next town? Next up in line is Pilgrimage, the last sound for 50 miles. Types like you and me ought to be steering clear of there about now. What's so wrong with Pilgrimage? Well, you're not going to find any work there, that's for sure. Not unless you plan on hauling it up to Mars. Ah, so that's where the rocket ship's going. Intellico owns that town. Between the miners headed for Mars and the hollow scene, it doesn't seem like the kind of place I'd like to get caught up. The last ride out to Mars leaves soon, so miners are crawling all over that town. I know works I know work scares, but damn. To be desperate enough to sell your soul to Intel Co and go mine in the red sand. Well, I sold my soul to Intel a few years ago with the uh, Intel processor. Nobody will not even notice them though, everyone's got their eyes on the hollow scene. Ooh, what's that? All the rich folks headed to town for launch day. Intellico will be sure to keep the likes of us out of the way. It's all just profit for Intellico. They don't care who has to suffer to make a buck. Ooh, that's nice. Bit disappointed he's not playing the Deliverance theme tune. Okay, pilgrimage, gateway to the stars, gateway to nothing if you ask me. What a miserable banjo player. The whole thing's a sham. Folks, they're as poor as every, anywhere else. It's all a show. If you're living in that town at Intelli... then Intelli Co. good as owns you. There's nothing for us here in Pilgrimage. That town is... Do you think he's trying to put me off going to this town or what? He doesn't, he, he doesn't want me to go to this town, does he? I mean, if, if if this pilgrimage town's bad, what's the other town like? That fellow who's drinking all the the beer. Okay, this looks like some spooky looking farm. Ooh, 
Ooh. Still miles from town, a tiny farmhouse sits alone amongst the fields. A place a young boy named Ira calls home. That's me. So, am I in the garage? What am I doing? Oh, hi, Ira. Hi there. Didn't hear you come in. Ooh, here we go. Are we going to get control now? I'm just finishing up the car here. Do you need something? Okay. Mum told me to come out. Or mum told me to come out here and ask if you needed anything. Oh, I see. I could sure use the extra hand. Trying to get the car back up and running before I run out of time. <laughs> before I leave, I mean. Oh, Daddy, you're so mean. I can't leave you and your mother here all winter with the car breaking down every couple of miles. Okay, when are you leaving? So it's a week he's leaving. That Holocene launch pushed up our dates. They're trying to get all the miners out before the press show up. They don't want us hanging around and spoiling the big departure. A new start, a new day. A lot of the fuss about something is not going to do any good for anyone, if you ask me. I know you're interested in that Holocene stuff, Ira. Sorry, I don't really understand the point. At least the car will be in good shape before I go. Could you bring me that wrench from above the workbench? I sure can. Alright, where's the wrench? The, maybe that's the wrench. Wow, Ira's super skinny. Okay, I've picked up the wrench. Here you go, Daddy. I have the wrench. <laughs> just a few turns here. All right, now I just need a fuel line to replace it. Okay, let's go and... Uh, oh, no, no. Let's go outside. Let's go and try and find this fuel line. The night air was crisp. A cool wind moved in from the north, catching up the last of summer's warmth. Now, which way would a barn be? I think it would be to the left. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, that's the wrong way. I thought if I was going to build a farmhouse, I'd have the front of the house and then the um, garage at the back, but obviously not. This way, perhaps, still. I'm going to keep going this way. Ooh, tractor. Oh, bug. Spelling error, exactly. It's not spelled like that. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's leave the hose alone, he said. He said to get one from the garage, well, from the barn. I don't want to steal it off the tractor, because he might go and lock me in the woodshed. Okay. <gasps> What's up there? Okay. Let's call up to the loft. Oh, it's giving me goosebumps. Ira's voice is swallowed up by the darkness. There is no response. Okay. I probably shouldn't do this, but let's cl <laughs> let's climb up to the, to the loft. Ira climbs a sheer ladder to the upper loft and peers over its edge. The moonlight quickly falls off the blackness and nothing can be made out. Let's search the loft. I hope this isn't one of those jump games. Ira steps into silent darkness, but even from this close vantage, nothing can be seen. Memory tells him he must be near the far wall. The feeling is that of standing in an abyss. Let's have a feel. <laughs> what, we, what on earth are we going to find? Ira's hands meet with a metal surface, smooth and cold. The object is large, tall than he can reach, and far too wide to put his arms around. It's sturdy and finely crafted, unlike anything else on the farm or what Ira's experienced. Oh no! What on earth have I found? Okay, let's let's just search for the boxes. There's something weird and metal up there. Well, I'd wonder what that what that's a radio apparently. Let's get out. Let's get out of this barn. <laughs> yeah. Run, run. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. There's, there's something metal with glass panels or something on it. Let's go back to uh, normal life. Right, let's go to the garage. Daddy, daddy, there's something terrible in the barn. I 
I thought it said a horseshoe then. Okay. He looks like the dad's got no actual face. face. I can't see any eyes. Oh, oh there, there we go. He has got eyes. Okay, so daddy's a miserable miner. That's all that daddy's gear. Is he, gonna t is he actually going to tell him the fact that he's just seen something weird in the garage? Well, in the barn. Oh dear, are you upset because mom is getting sicker? And you're going away leaving her? We're going to be alright all of us. Why don't you head in? Your mother might need a hand with dinner. I think they're doing a special about the Holy Scene Silent TV. You don't want to miss that. Okay, sorry dad, I didn't mean to upset you. I love you son, I'll see you inside in a bit. Okay, let's go inside and see dear old mom. Well, the yard outside grows too dark to see, and Naira is drawn to stay inside. Uh, okay then, so... Let's have a look at Dad's mining gear then. Okay, he can go inside this way. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, he's got, he's got telekinetic powers apparently to open the door. Okay. Where's my games console? Okay. Oh, I didn't know you were asleep. Not sleeping, just tired. I was going to watch that special with you, remember? Give me a few minutes, I need to wake myself up. Of course, everything's fine, Ira. It's been a hard week with your father getting ready to leave and all. Nothing for you to worry about. Why don't you go watch your special? Okay, so you're leaving me to watch my special on my own. Oh, I've got to do the cooking as well. Okay, so I'm going to go and put dinner on and get Dad. So, as you may have noticed, this is a point-and-click adventure, which is pretty... I don't know if there's different options. Well, there seems to be different choices, but I don't know if it makes a difference what choices you actually choose on it. It does look really nice, though. It's uh... Okay, he's not actually putting the dinner on, or is he going to watch it? Here we go. Yeah, screw the food and watching TV. Nightly news. Joining us tonight is Dr. Edmund Henderson, Chairman of Astrophysics. Okay, Channel Line isn't a good channel to watch. Okay, Channel Five is QVC. Technology comes right into your own. Okay. For having me. And this Tell is the channel special I was meant to be watching, I think. What the Holocene is and what it means for mankind. <laughs> for mankind. For, first and foremost, the Holocene is a research vessel. Now, this ah. is an opportunity to expand our knowledge of the universe in an unprecedented way. Can I go and cook the food while that's still playing? Not really. I gotta go and put dinner on. Where's the kitchen? Here we go. Right. Where is the pot of food? There we go, stew. So let's put the stew on the oven. There we go. Bish bash boosh cooking away. Right, let's go and get Dad from the uh, garage. Let's go and, in the meantime, let's go and explore the attic where we probably shouldn't be going. I want to go and see what's in the attic. What's that crazy looking door there as well? Never mind the attic, what's that door? Okay, it won't let me actually do that at the moment. 
and the TV has what the TV has gone off all the channels have gone off oh I'm getting I'm getting goosebumps again why is it all floaty dust in the air and where's mom mom mommy where are you you don't appear to be in bed anymore oh I hope daddy's in here what where is the car and all the stuff what everything's gone Um, okay. What is going on? Am I captured in time or something? tripping out so I think I'm am I trapped in time by the look of it what was in that barn Okay, so I'm guessing I've come back to my senses now. What the heck is going on? Whoa, there's just nothing left in the house. Oh, it's going to make me go into the attic. Oh, don't go into the attic, Ira. What is this? Spooky. Is that the mood? There's a radio. Okay, let's interact with the radio. Hollow scene bombs. A distant voice rises through the radio static. It's tone familiar, but the words too muffled to make out. The sound is barely audible, but I find comfort in the noise beneath the static. Closing his eyes, Ira focuses on the voice. Words reveal themselves. How can we know where we have been? Okay, so... I'd say... Hmm... Only by looking backwards or here is everywhere. I'd, I'm going to say only by looking backwards. It is where we have all come from. That much is true. But knowing what's been is not knowing at all. Okay. Do you know where you will be? Ah, oh, I know where I'll be when I get there. <laughs> oh no, it's not, not that option, isn't there? Um, I can go anywhere I've been before, maybe. Oh no, I've just chose all the wrong answers. You want to come otherwise, you couldn't have come. Do you know where you are? What is going on? Wake up. Am I going to wake up on a freaking spaceship now or something? What the frick? What's going on? Ira's mind slips through the years, escaping time caught up in the void. But the mind re-emerges re 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 back into the slow march of years. I, oh, what? I've been asleep. Counting down. Ten seconds, I'm going to wake up. Okay, so I'm not a kid. I'm actually uh, an adult. What has gone on? 
His mind is unable to recall why he knows the place or when he's been here. Whoa, so it looks like I'm in space. Is there anyone else with me? Oh, they're all powered down and lifeless. Let's have a look at this terminal then. Initializing power-up sequence. Errors. 2932 to 3402 detected. Attempting bypass of faulty systems. Method failed. Please contact administrator. Please contact IT support. The elevator power returns, a crack of switch from above. Life returning to the terminal's dusty speaker. A voice emerges for the static. These rats again destroyed my ship wire by wire. Back them and flee from my flee from, hey, flee from my the sound of my voice. I just repaired this unit, you miserable rodents. Although it's the first time the rats have powered up any systems, that is fascinating. Okay. Rats have transitioned from wire tune to attempt at utilizing ship systems. Motivation low, so the computer must think I'm actually a rat. Okay, so this is a, is this the AI that's gone insane? This is your acting captain and assumed commander of the Holocene 2, the master of this vessel. It's good to have you in my service. It's good to have anyone in my service. Oh, so we're on that ship. We must be. Of course we're on a ship. You're aboard the Holocene 2, crewman. This seems to be obvious information. Your mental state may be worse than I expected. How would you describe your current condition? I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Or oh, I'm fine. Can you get me out of here? We've been hit by a truck. Let's be honest. Okay. Please fail to report any feelings of nausea, increased heart rate, hallucinations, or the sensation of death. Given our situation, it's clear I'm clearing you for duty. Congratulations. Okay. So day one of the, the arrival to the system, the ship's automated systems were compromised. The system is flooded with electromagnetic. <laughs> I can't speak. The system is flooded with electromagnetic interference which wreaked havoc on the electrical grid. By the time I assumed the role of captain, the stasis chamber succumbed to the search. I really can't speak today. Screw my voice. The ship was saved. I took control of navigation manually just in time too. Our mission will still continue though we may be delayed by the inconvenient mass loss of life among... I think that might be a slight problem, computer. Okay, I'm not going to read out all these. I'll be here all day. Okay. So it looks like there's a lot of stasis pods, but not no one no one actually in any of them. Oh okay, there is crew in them, but they're not powered up by the look of it. Ugh. This reminds me of um Oh, is it flashback the game on the spectrum? I don't know why. Oh, here we go, there's plants. Greenhouse level. Nice. Let's do some gardening. <laughs> I suggest making it a priority though. Most of the food stores were entered into space four weeks ago. So, is everyone on the ship dead? Okay, well, <laughs> don't don't hold back from telling me. You know, don't soften the blow. You just tell me everyone's dead. Okay, what other levels are they going to be? The lab level. Research vessel after all. State of equipment. Okay, so I'm the head of the lab. I'm the head of the, uh, the growing department, herbologist. Okay, next level. Is there going to be an engineer or a life support level, I wonder? There you go, the engine core. I 
think the captain has gone a little bit insane. So what actually happened to all of the crew then? Okay, so here's the big massive computer by the look of it. Ooh, exterior shot time. Okay, so we know that this is obviously the computer. Automated control system. Okay, you're not a captain, you're not a person. Okay, let's, uh, let's click stuff. Right, bridge interface, let's uh, try using that. Let's let's randomly press buttons. Wow, there's a lot of buttons. Okay, the little computer popped out. Computer with a within a computer. Okay, so let's let's have a look at ship monitors. Stable. Engine status. Okay. Communications. Okay, so there's some strange signal that's probably killed everyone. Oh, I need to, I think I'm evacuating my pants. Let's uh, move towards the door. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. Come on, let me out. Spin that wheel. Run! Run, Forrest, run! Guessing we're just we're gonna escape to the planet now and we'll leave the ship. Okay. There's gonna be life down there. Whoa. This is a piece of our speed. Brace for impact. Whoa, it's all gone white and floaty. Somebody been smoking? What? Have you got a smoker's cough? <laughs> Is that me? I take it we didn't land too well. I can see signs of civilization. There's a big antenna. There's a big antenna there. What is it? What does it? What does it mean? Is there life on the planet? Was it a distress call they were sending out? Were they trying to kill us? Oh, I want answers. So that's it for that um, demo. I quite like. I I like that. That's quite uh, quite intriguing. It, was, it wasn't. I, th I thought it was going to be like a jump scare game uh, in parts, but. Very mysterious, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That's made me wanna that's made me wanna play some more of that. So um Uh Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm gonna as I said at the start of the video, I'm gonna post a link to the actual Kickstarter for this. I reckon this is uh I reckon this is going to be pretty. I reckon it could be. It could be a good game. It depends on um, how many levels are going to be. Um, it's, as I said, it's still got twenty-five days to go. It's already got five thousand dollars, so I think that's definitely going to be able to um, get enough money. But uh, it's by a company called All Creative. I'm going to have a little uh, look on the Kickstarter page now, and um, I might actually um, 
back it myself because it does look pretty special. Um, so that's it for this video. Give it, give this uh, video a like and a thumb up if you uh, have enjoyed watching it and think it looks a little bit uh, interesting. It's, uh, it looks a lot. I've not played a point and click game for a while, so I, d I did, uh, did, did enjoy that. So uh, that's it for this video. That's enough of me waffling on. I'll see you in the next video. This is Shirley Rock signing out.